Myself is Dr. N.J. Borkotagi. I'm a consultant neurologist of Hyatt Hospital, Guwahati. So on the occasion of National Epilepsy Day, which is every year observed on 17 November to remove the myths and prejudice associated with epilepsy and to increase the awareness of epilepsy as well as the seizure disorders amongst the society. So here I would like to emphasize a few points on epilepsy with the uh, 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 effect on its lifestyles. Epilepsy is a chronic condition which is occurring due to excessive electrical discharges from the brain. And because of it, there are many physical, social, emotional, as well as the occupational effects comes on the patient's life. So if, you, if we see the, the uh, extent of epilepsy amongst the world, according to World Health Organization report, more than 80 million people across the world is suffering. And unfortunately, 80% and above of these people are residing in developing country. In India, alone, approximately 10 million people are there suffering from epilepsy. The unfortunate fact is that three-fourths of the patients which are suffering from epilepsy, they do not come for medical treatment to their doctors. That is the main problems. So I appeal to all the people, if they have any symptoms related to epilepsy, they should go immediately to the nearest doctor. They should adhere to the medications given by that doctor. They should go for checkup time to time, and they should have a good physical, mental, and social health as far as concerned. So, so far the effect of epilepsy on his uh, level of effect of epilepsy on his lifestyles, there are four factors. One is in education. So these patients with epilepsy, they have mostly the inadequate schooling. And uh, it is seen that uh, approximately these epileptic patients, they stay behind almost two years in the skill of writing and reading from the, compared to the normal patients. They have cognitive impairment because of seizures itself and as well as due to treatment from the anti-epileptic drugs. These people, they have attention deficit hyperactive disorder, which also hinders them from doing a proper educations. The second effect on lifestyle effect is on employment. So unemployment is a very big uh, problem in patients with epilepsy. It is disproportionately high in patients with epilepsy, and it is found that Almost it is two to three times higher than non-epileptic patients. They also have the problem in identifying jobs. And they, don't, they also have underperformance in their respective, uh, respective uh, the offices. So they are also having effect on this physical independence because this is the main inability, uh, disability factor is that due to recurrent seizures and fear of having seizures, their physical disability is increasing. They fear to go out to the outside without having any associated persons. They often have forgetfulness. They have fearfulness of having seizure at any point of time. They cannot do proper driving. They cannot take part in the social activities. So in this way, their independence level is significantly affected in epileptic patients. And the last is, is the epileptic patient because of the huge social stigma and the social prejudice. They have a lot of social isolations. They, more often we see that in developing countries, especially, they have hide these conditions from the other people, only the family members. That is the one of the main reasons they don't they don't seek the medical advice from the nearby doctors. They really have a social isolations because of this. They have a low social esteem, and they have a lot of social hindrance too. And uh, lastly. I request that all the people of suffering from epilepsy and their parents and their guardians that if you have this kind of problem, they should not hide it from the family members and the other people. They should immediately go to a nearby doctor. Please, please adhere to the treatment given by the doctor. And if they take medications regularly, in more than 90% situations, we can stop having seizure after two to three years. So it is controllable in most of the situations. Only the thing is that they should adhere to the treatment. They should not hide it from the things. They, thereby, they can lead a normal life in most of the situations. It is not a contagious disease. 
it is most of the time it is not a genetic disease not spreading from one family to the other neither it is a infectious conditions so with this few words uh, i thank you very much to the listeners and to follow the instructions which is advised in this talk thank you very much